So we are here in Patea at the floating market. I paid 500 back in the hotel. I've been stitched up. Oh, do you hold on to my grenade? Rubber band gun. Rubber band gun. Whoa. It's actually nothing like what I thought it was going to be like. Crocodile. And I've never had crocodile before. Come and see this gentleman. Thank you, buddy. You're scared? Like you like it? Oh, oh. <laughs> this is the scorpion. That is the size comparison. Yeah, floating market. Okay, okay. All right, guys. Now we are off to the floating market. I thought we were off to it before, but now we're officially on the route. Guys, so we are here in Patea at the floating market. What to expect? Well, we're going to be floating down in a little canal. Maybe not that one, but we expect to maybe get some food, buy some stuff. Uh, these are the official uh, people. Ministry of Tourism and Spa. Ministry of Tourism. And would you say this is a good place to yeah, go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, plenty of food. Welcome to Thailand. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome to my vlog. Food Aroi Crab. What's that? Food Aroi Crab. Aroi means delicious. Okay, awesome mate. So we are actually inside a massive ship right now. I don't know if you saw it. Some people would argue that this may even be the final resting place of Noah's Ark. Um, I don't particularly think that. But hey, that's for you to make up your own mind. So, let's head through. Check out this market. Hey, look at that. They don't miss out anywhere. You can go down the river on your nice little canoe, have a special adult cookie. Hey, everything's good. So I actually thought this was going to be like a really authentic experience where you just go down to the river, you've got this food market set up, uh, real traditional kind of thing, but no, it's unfortunately a, a real big business here. So this is a ticket office where you come and buy a ticket all organized uh, really really touristic kind of thing but hey that's what we're here to do we're here to show the reality of what it's like hold on 200 200 per person yeah okay, what's going on here I paid 500 before <laughs> I paid 500 back in the hotel I've been stitched up this one this apple dry must seem this no so which one am i doing i'm confused okay hey buddy huh? okay. Okay. okay okay no one knows what i'm talking about today whatever guys we're on a journey here we're on a journey it's only 300 baht more i'm sure i'll survive let's go oh where do I put my um, grenade? Do you hold on to my grenade? Okay. Yeah, I have a couple of um, guns and grenades. Yeah. I just leave them here. Okay. Thank you. Wow, well, thought I was in trouble there for a second. Where do we go now? So, initial thoughts. Um, I don't think it's going to be worth the money because they've just sort of led me into this area and it's just all, all shops. And I'm going to suspect that once I do find how to get on the boat, we're just going to be traveling around to different stores um, and this stuff is a lot more expensive than what you can just find in the main areas of Patea. Um, so I don't really see a point if that's if that's what it's going to be. But let's go ask someone, um, what does this sticker get me? Does this get me on a canoe? Okay, so I've just found the entrance where we uh, get on the boat. But have a look at the line. So it's a, it's going to be a huge line, and all of these people, we're just waiting individually to, to get on a boat, and there doesn't seem to be any boats there yet. So first impressions, not amazing. Up to this. Ah yes, yes. I would like to document about the detail. You Are can you put in the details. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and then I can go on the boat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right. Have you got a pen? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, and uh, where do I, I sit over there? 
10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Hey, these are the officials from the start. Yeah. Obviously, you got my own two, two personal tourist guys, so I feel like we're getting somewhere. So let's fill out these forms and uh, see if we can <laughs> get, on, get on a boat. What is this? It's Lisa Survey. It's Lisa Survey. It's information. About information. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, this is a survey. Yeah. Oh, so this has nothing to do with getting on the boat. Hey, this has nothing. This has nothing okay, to do okay, with getting on the okay, boat. Okay. I just want to get on the boat. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. How do, how do I get onto the boat? Okay, 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 okay. No, you. no, how? <laughs> Never mind. Thank Never mind. You. No, but I want to get on the canoe. The canoe? In the line. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank okay. you. Bye bye. Well, I know that I don't know uh, much Thai, which makes the language barrier here a lot harder than in the Philippines where I just was for so long. So I'm guessing that, yeah, that, that is the line there and we've just got to wait. I thought that form was for like safety reasons to fill out, but no, it was just for a survey for them. Let's go talk to these ladies, see what they got. Hello. Oh, wow, what is this? Rubber band gun. Rubber band gun. Made in Thailand. And, and is this something that I could bring to the airport and get back to Australia? Yeah. Really? Okay. Guys, look at this. We've got a gun. Okay, we'll see how good I am. And I could shoot my brother in the face. Yeah? yeah. Shoot, shoot my brother? Okay. Alright, let's go guys. Let's see how good my aim is. So I'm, I'm aiming for the second chain. And this guy is covering his face behind it because he doesn't want to get shot. But let's go. Okay, so it's pretty accurate. So there you go, that's like a handgun. And what other guns do we have? Rubber band guns. All rubber band guns. But fire shot, they all fire shot. What's this one? Like a machine gun? You show us. Whoa! It's like an actual machine gun. Yes. But made from rubbers. Holy moly, that is crazy. Shotgun. It's not just a rubber band gun, it's a shotgun. Let's go. Wow. wow. Amazing. Guys, oh, look at this line. It's massive. I thought it would just be sort of a wander down and have all these boats ready to go, but it's not. We've been here for now for about 15 minutes just waiting. So we are finally getting on the boat. I've just asked if I can be put somewhere where it's not as noisy so we can, um, yeah, film this pretty good. Here we go. Hey, it's a long boat. Uh, we sit at the front like this. Yeah. Here we go. Guys, I've got no sunscreen on me today. Um, that's probably one thing that you will definitely need here. It was a bit, um, a bit overcast this morning when I, when I got up, so I didn't think about wearing any. But hey, we won't be here for long. We'll go around, see what it's all about. And uh, yeah, if we burn a bit later, that's my own fault. And we are off from the famous floating market. This spot, you cannot stand up because it will take your head off. But as you can see, I'm right here at the front. We are fully loaded today. So I've got to be completely honest guys, it's actually nothing like what I thought it was going to be like. Um, they show the photos from the angles where you're in this boat like this, it might be just you and your girlfriend or something like that, and you're just going through and there's all these little boats and you get some food and you buy stuff from them, but no, it's, it's really commercialized, like we're just cruising around here, as you can see all of these markets are shut. There's nothing really happening here. Uh, most of the stuff happens when you're on foot and the water's not amazing by any stretch of the imagination. It's really dirty and green. That's nice for a little cruise. But guys, just don't buy your tickets from those vendors on the side of the road with the photos. They're great to find out about things and I understand they need to make their commission. 300, I would have understood, but not 500 when you can get it here for 200 for the exact same thing. The taxi, the taxi price for the guy for a thousand a day, I feel like that was pretty fair. But when you're paying two and a half times what it actually costs, that is a blatant ripoff. 
Uh, and there we go guys so after about oh my god is that how you meant to come out probably not but hey there we go after maybe 10 minutes uh we're done so was that worth it for me i say no i've done much more extreme adventures than that would i pay 200 baht yes i would would i do it again no but do not pay 500 for that that is definitely not worth it guys before i speak too soon and get out of here i found something pretty interesting now this gentleman right here is selling crocodile and i've never had crocodile before so we're going to try some barbecued crocodile i'm very interested to see what this tastes like people say chicken other people say pork some people says it has its own distinct flavor so let's have a go how do you feel about that mate good Right. It's actually pretty good. Maybe, yeah, maybe chicken. It's like it's like a chicken, but it's not as tender. It's a bit more tough, and you don't get like that weird feeling when you're eating an animal that you seem to like. But hey, no, it's really good. I would definitely recommend that. That's probably a seven out of ten. But uh, very spicy. Yeah. Strawberry Fanta. Wunda. Ah, strawberry, buddy. Wunda. Yeah. Fanta. Fanta. Wunda. 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 Fanta. Wunda. And Wunda. You know what? And Wunda. This one is the same as this, yeah? Mm. And the Tommy. This one's same. Guys, I think I think that says Fanta. But we're gonna yeah, we're gonna get this one. Everyone knows Fanta from Australia. Okay, it's um, orange. Okay, come But hey, this is strawberry Fanta. So we're going to try this one today. We're going to see what it's like. And I'll leave you guys with a good view over here. Let's try it out. Oh, damn, that's good. Oh, why don't they sell that in Australia? Hey, that's amazing. Thank you. Thank very you. good, thank very you. good. Thank you. thank you. Thank you very much. Guys, if you want some nice Fanta, come and see this gentleman. Thank you, buddy. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Telling you right now, don't bother going on the boats. Just don't bother. It's a, it's a waste of money. Everything is on foot. Like, as you saw, he did not take us anywhere. We literally just went around in the circle and ended up the same spot. But if you want to see the food or the markets, it's best done on foot, which we're going to do right now. And um, we're going to go try some weird foods. Maybe some bugs, maybe some spiders, maybe even a scorpion. Let's do it. Are you scared to eat that? Uh, yes, I, You're scared? I like it. You like it? Uh, oh. I will eat one if you eat one. <laughs> Let's go. You and me. Oh, sure. Oh, he likes it. I will get one as well. We've got to eat a scorpion while there's a scorpion. Ah, we're both doing it. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, so she's got to fry them. Yeah. So this is probably just sterilizing them. I guess they're already potentially deep fried. But hey, while we're waiting for that, have a look at all the other stuff she's got. Crickets. Some form of widgety grubs. Um, I don't know if I'm game enough to try that, but I will eat the scorpion. Because it's just a matter of just getting the whole thing down and just chewing it in one go. Oh, so there's some flavoring. So what have we got? A little bit of salt, pepper. What's this one? Soy sauce. Soy sauce. Wow. We're really going all out here with the flavors. <laughs> Not spicy. Not spicy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, this gentleman's going to go first. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> okay. okay, go, go, go. Oh, straight into it. Is it good? It's good. Um, no? It's different. Oh, different. Oh. So not good. So this is the scorpion. That is the size comparison. So we're just going to get straight into it. 
Maybe we need to chew the the guts first. Maybe they're a bit uh, lighter. I'm not into it. I'm not into it. I'm not afraid to say it. Would you eat that? Probably not. Sometimes you fail in life, just like I did then, but sometimes that's okay. Guys, we're going to try the national dish here in Thailand, which is called mango sticky rice. Hello, how are you? Uh, one, yes. Uh, just put that one there. So guys, this stuff is famous here. Oh wow, see how quick that was? So that's what we're looking at there. Some deliciously sweet sticky rice with some diced up mango and to top it off, the sweet coconut milk. Mm. That's really good. I just never see rice as something that you put with dessert, but hey, it's not bad. Mm. That mango is so good. So there you go, guys. The floating market in Pattaya. Would I come there again? Definitely not. Would I recommend you go? Yeah, I'd say go. Maybe for a first date, maybe just to check it out. It was a bit, well, very touristic. Lots of people there. Also, I think it was pretty overpriced for what it was. But hey, something I wanted to see. I've been able to show you the reality in the video. So you don't waste your time if that's not what you want to see. But hey, there you go, guys. I'm going to head off. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to keep bringing you these videos. And... Um, See you guys next time.